Hello friends, today we will discuss about nucleolus and rRNA processing and our main objectives will be to give a brief introduction about nucleolus. To study the concept of rRNA processing, to study ribosomal RNA genes and the organization of the nucleolus. To study transcription and processing of rRNA. So, first and foremost, an introduction about the nucleolus. The presence of a nucleus is the principal feature that distinguishes eukaryotic cells from prokaryotic cells. By housing the cell's genome, the nucleus serves both as the repository of genetic information and as the cell's control center. DNA replication, transcription and RNA processing all takes place within the nucleus with only the final stage of gene expression that is translation localized to the cytoplasm. The nucleus of many eukaryotic cells contain a structure called a nucleolus. As the nucleus is the brain of the cell, the nucleolus could loosely be thought of as the brain of the nucleus. The nucleolus is a prominent subnuclear structure that is not bound by a membrane and resides within the nuclear matrix. The nucleolus takes up around 25% of the volume of the nucleus. It is made up of proteins and ribonucleic acids. Size of nucleoli depends upon the ribosomal requirements of the type of cell in which they are found. Its main function is to rewrite ribosomal RNA also known as rRNA and combine it with proteins. This results in the formation of complete ribosomes. There is an uninterrupted chain between the nucleoplasm and the interior parts of the nucleolus which occurs through a system of nuclear passages. These passages allow macromolecules with a molecular weight up to 2000 kilodalton to be easily circulated throughout the nucleolus. Having a close relationship to the chromosomal matter of the cell and its important role in producing ribosomes, the nucleolus is thought to be the cause of a variety of different human diseases. Through the microscope, the nucleolus appears like a large dark spot within the nucleus. Eukaryotic cells often contain a single nucleolus, but several are also possible. The exact number of nucleoli is fixed among the members of the same species. Each diploid cell in the human body features only one nucleolus, though immediately after cell division, 10 tiny nucleoli appear before they unite into a single large nucleolus. This is because nucleoli are formed at certain chromosome sites usually referred to as nucleolus organizer regions or nodes and two copies of five different human chromosomes contain nodes. The DNA found at chromosomal nodes encodes the genes for ribosomal RNA. At the onset of mitosis, the single nucleolus present in the human cell disappears and subsequent to the process, the formation of the new nucleolus which is created from the 10 smaller nucleolus-like structures that develop from the nodes can be observed. 
the nucleolus is comprised of granular and fibrillar components. The granular material consists of ribosomal subunits that have already been formed but have not yet matured and are waiting to be exported to the cytoplasm. The thread-like fibrillar part of a nucleolus is predominantly composed of RRNA molecules and associated proteins that have joined together to form fibrils. Nucleolus is a site of ribosome synthesis. The nucleolus, whose primary function is to assemble ribosomes, is the largest structure in the cell nucleus. The nucleolus organizes regions of chromosomes which harbor the genes for pre-RRNA are the foundation for the nucleolus. The nucleolus disassembles at the beginning of mitosis and begins to reassemble in telophase. Ribosome assembly begins with the transcription of pre-RRNA and RNA polymerase first ribosomal and non-ribosomal proteins and 5S RNA associate with the pre-RRNA during and after transcription. The pre-RRNA is modified and processed into RRNA with the aid of non-ribosomal proteins and small nucleolar RNAs. The nucleolus has numerous other functions including assembly of signal recognition particles, modification of transfer RNAs, and sensing cellular stress. The nucleolus and RRNA processing The most prominent nuclear body, nucleolus, is the site of RNA transcription and processing as well as aspects of ribosome assembly. Cells require large number of ribosomes at specific times to meet their needs for protein synthesis. Actively growing mammalian cells contain 5 to 10 million ribosomes that must be synthesized each time the cell divides. The nucleolus is a ribosome production factory designed to fulfill the need for regulated and efficient production of RRNAs and assembly of the ribosomal subunits. Recent evidence suggests that nucleoli also have a more general role in RNA modification and that several types of RNA move in and out of the nucleolus at specific stages during their processing. Ribosomal RNA genes and organization of the nucleolus. The nucleolus, which is not surrounded by a membrane, is associated with the chromosomal regions that contain the genes for the 5.8 S. 18S and 28S RRNAs. Ribosomes of higher eukaryotes contain four types of RNAs designated as the 5S, 5.8S, 18S and 28S RRNAs. The 5.8S, 18S and 28S RRNAs are transcribed as a single unit within the nucleolus by RNA polymerase first, yielding a 45S ribosomal precursor RNA. The 45S pre-RRNA is processed via cleavage and base modification to the 18S RRNA of the 40S ribosomal subunit and to the 5.8S and 28S RRNAs of the 60S, that is, large ribosomal subunit. Transcription of the 5S RRNA, which is also found in the 60S ribosomal subunit, takes place outside the nucleolus in higher eukaryotes and is catalyzed by RNA polymerase third. 
to meet the need for transcription of large number of rRNA molecules, all cells contain multiple copies of the rRNA genes. The human genome contains about 200 copies of the gene that encodes the 5.8S, 18S and 28S rRNAs and approximately 2000 copies of the gene that encodes 5S rRNA. The genes for 5.8S, 18S and 28S rRNAs are clustered in tandem arrays on five different chromosomes. Chromosomes 13, 14, 15, 21 and 22. The 5S rRNA genes are present in a single tandem array on chromosome 1. Morphologically, nucleoli consist of three distinguishable regions, the fibrillar center, dense fibrillar component and granular component. These different regions are thought to represent the sites of progressive stages of rRNA transcription, processing and ribosome assembly. Modification of other small RNAs such as that of the signal recognition particle occurs elsewhere in the nucleolus. Following each cell division, nucleoli become associated with the chromosomal regions that contain the 5.8S, 18S and 28S rRNA genes which are therefore called nuclear organizing regions. The formation of nucleoli requires the transcription of 45S pre-rRNA which appears to lead to the fusion of small prenuclear bodies that contain processing factors and other components of the nucleolus. In most cells, the initially separate nucleoli then fuse to form a single nucleolus. The size of the nucleolus depends on the metabolic activity of the cell, with large nucleoli found in the cells that are actively engaged in protein synthesis. This variation is primarily due to differences in the size of the granular component reflecting the levels of ribosome assembly, transcription and processing of rRNA. Each nuclear organizing region contains a cluster of tandemly repeated rRNA genes separated from each other by non-transcribed spacer DNA. These genes are very actively transcribed by RNA polymerase first, allowing their transcription to be readily visualized by electron microscopy. In such electron micrographs, each of the tandemly arrayed rRNA genes is surrounded by densely packed growing RNA chains forming a structure that looks like a Christmas tree. The high density of growing RNA chains reflects that of the RNA polymerase molecules which are present at a maximal density of approximately 1 polymerase per 100 base pairs of template DNA. In higher eukaryotes, the primary transcript of the rRNA genes is the large 45S pre-rRNA which contains the 18S, 5.8S and 28S rRNAs as well as transcribed spacer regions. External transcribed spacers are present at both the 5- and 3- ends of the pre-rRNAs and two internal transcribed spacers lie between the 18S, 5.8S and 28S rRNA sequences. Early steps in the processing of this transcript are cleavage within the external transcribed spacer near the 5' end of the pre-rRNA and removal of the external transcribed spacer at the 3' end of the molecule. Additional cleavages then result in the formation of mature 
rRNAs. Processing follows a similar pattern in all eukaryotes, although there may be a difference in the order or the number of cleavage. In addition to cleavage, the processing of pre-rRNA involves a substantial amount of base modification resulting from the addition of methyl groups to specific bases and ribosome residues and from the conversion of uridine to pseudouridine. In animal cells, pre-rRNA processing involves the methylation of approximately 100 ribose residues and 10 bases in addition to the formation of about 100 pseudouridines. Most of these modifications occur during or shortly after the synthesis of the pre-rRNA, although a few takes place at later stages of RNA processing. The processing of pre-rRNA requires the action of both proteins and RNAs that are localized in the nucleolus. Nucleoli contain more than 300 proteins and a large number of small nuclear RNAs, also called as SNORNAs, that function in the pre-rRNA processing. Some SNORNAs are responsible for the cleavage of pre-rRNA into 18S, 5.8S and 28S products. For example, the most abundant nuclear SNORNA is U3, which is present in about 200,000 copies per cell and is required to cleavage of pre-rRNA within the 5-dash external transcribed spacer sequences. Similarly, U8 SNORNA is required for cleavage of pre-rRNA to 5.8S and 28S rRNAs and U22 SNORNA is required for cleavage of pre-rRNA to 18S rRNA. Most SNORNAs, however, function in the rRNA synthesis as guide RNAs to direct the specific base modifications of pre-rRNA, including the methylation of specific ribose residues and formation of pseudouridines. Most of the SNORNAs contain short sequences of approximately 15 nucleotides that are complementary to 18S or 28S rRNA. Importantly, these regions of complementarity include the sites of base modification in the rRNA by base pairing with specific regions of the pre-rRNA, the SNORNAs act as guide RNAs that target the enzymes responsible for ribosome methylation or pseudouridylation of the correct site on the pre-rRNA molecule. Other RNAs besides rRNA require modified bases and it is the localization of SNORNPs in the nucleolus that is thought to be the basis for its more general role in RNA modification. Ribosome assembly The formation of ribosome involves the assembly of the ribosomal precursor RNA with both ribosomal proteins and 5S rRNA. The genes that encode ribosomal proteins are transcribed outside the nucleolus by RNA polymerase second, yielding mRNAs that are translated on cytoplasmic ribosomes. The ribosomal proteins are then transported from the cytoplasm to the nucleolus where they are assembled with rRNAs to form preribosomal particles. Although the genes for 5S rRNA are also transcribed outside the nucleolus by RNA polymerase third, 5S rRNAs similarly are assembled into the preribosomal particles within the nucleolus. 
the association of ribosomal proteins with rrna begins while the pre rrna is still being synthesized and more than half of the ribosomal proteins are complexed with the pre rrna during its cleavage the remaining ribosomal proteins and the 5s rrna are incorporated into pre ribosomal particles as cleavage of the pre rrna proceeds early in the ribosome assembly the processing of the two nascent ribosomal subunits separates processing of the smaller subunit which contains only the 18s rrna is simpler and involves only four endonuclease cleavages in higher eukaryotes this is completed within the nucleus but in yeast the final cleavage to the mature 18s rrna actually occurs after export of 40s subunit to the cytosol processing of the large subunit which contains the 28s 5.8s and 5s rrnas involves extensive nuclease cleavage and is completed within the nucleolus consequently most of the pre ribosomal particles in the nucleolus represent precursors to the large that is 60s subunit the final stages of ribosome maturation follows the export of pre ribosomal particles to the cytoplasm forming active 40s and 60s subunits of the eukaryotic ribosomes dear friends this brings us to end the lecture on nucleolus and rrna processing hope you have enjoyed have a nice day